Okay, we are uh, live at IECP 2023 in San Diego on the Intersection podcast hosted by me, Mike Denick, uh, Vice President of Mar Marketing for MyoVision with Steve Turcone, the one, the only Steve Turcone, the man of many hats, correct? Mike, it's good to be here with you. And uh, yes, I have many hats. Uh, I am uh, I'm the president of Safe Cities Global, which is a consulting company for public safety solutions. And I have several clients and uh, Ingram Micro is one of them. Uh, Ingram Micro being the world's largest distributor of technology and here for the, uh, they, Ingram is here for the first time at the, at the IACP convention. Uh, I'm a retired police chief out of California and uh, I used to come here on a regular basis to the IACP as a customer hmm. and here I am as a consultant, but it's, uh, it's a good place to be as a consultant. I like, I like walking around and <clears throat> being around all this technology and equipment. So when we were walking through the floor, it was, it was kind of annoying actually. I'll be honest, because we took the middle aisle and you were stopped several what, times. At least several times. So you you actually said, usually I walk the periphery of the floor to get Dude. to where I'm going. Yeah. That's how pop popular you are. Well, I don't know if I'm popular, but uh, yeah, I was stopped and frisked many times oh. walking on the main on the main aisle. So I do when I go to from when I have a meeting to go to, I take the side aisles yeah. because I don't run into anybody I know. Um, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I've been coming to the IACP for a long time. Uh, first, I first started coming when I was a, a lieutenant, uh, I think it was maybe a captain in the police department. And then uh, when I was police chief, I'd come and, and uh, things have changed a lot yeah. in those days, since those days. I mean, uh, now it seems to be about uh, half software <clears throat> technology. Uh, it used to be uh, not so much, and right. you know, mostly hardware uh, equipment. We still have all of that, of course, with the the bulletproof vests and the, and the guns and the uh, the, the uh, armored vehicles, but uh, now it's it's all about software and helping make the uh, the law enforcement officers uh, more efficient at yeah. what they do yeah. and keeping the community safe. Beautiful. Yep. Um, we actually met at an AWS summit early in the year, first time we had ever met, yep. and then I think we revealed to you that we had just bought Opticom, yep. and I think that. The breakfast at that point changed a little bit. Yes. From like, why am I meeting with MyoVision to yeah. you being kind of like convinced that this was a really smart move for us. So talk to us a little bit about, I could say it, but it's, yeah. I think it's more helpful if it comes from an ex-chief of police. But sure. I, what do you I, think about MyoVision Opticom? <laughs> well, I, when I was a, a young police officer, which was about 500 years ago, uh, Opticom <laughs> was, was in existence. Uh, not 500 years ago, but a long, long time ago. So I remember being a, a patrol officer driving down the streets of San Mateo, California, and hearing about this Opticom system that would turn the lights green for the fire trucks back then. And I thought, wow, what a game changer. And that was a long time ago. And now it's progressed to the point where you guys uh, have a, a great solution now. And, and it, is, it really fits into the police world also. Uh, yeah, there are far more police cars out there roaming around than there yeah. are fire trucks, but it, it definitely has a, uh, a traffic flow. It solves the traffic flow problem, traffic safety, of course, uh, hands down. So I'm really glad to see you're here at the IACP. Yeah. It's a great place to be for, for, for Opticom, especially. So if you could pass on any words of advice to a chief of police who's like, I want to get my cruisers to and from emergencies more efficiently without accident, but what I've heard is that there's kind of a, a pull and push between the chief of police and the traffic department, say in San Mateo. Yeah. How, where would you start to kind of like create consensus that community is better and if it's safer and there's less accidents, but how would you kind of like recommend or give some direction to somebody on how to make some of those changes and where would they start? Sure, well, the police department being that they are, they do have more vehicles out there at any one time. Uh, they are oftentimes going to emergency situations and they are uh, obstructed and they have to go through the intersections with their lights and siren. And uh, oftentimes these other vehicles don't see that. And there are many accidents all, all over the country, of course, all over many countries. And so, so this, is, this is a solution that will, will reduce traffic, traffic accidents, uh, reduce injuries and fatalities. And so it, to me, it's a no brainer that, that the police should be involved uh, working with the city in, in, in being a part of that, that solution. Yeah. 
Uh, so uh, it, it definitely is a matter of traffic safety, traffic flow, making things more efficient in any city. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. yeah, I think it's it definitely, you know, we some we get brought in both by chiefs of police and traffic, yeah. but I think it's better when everybody's working in a coalition Absolutely. to kind of solve these problems together yeah. on the streets that they share, right? So that's awesome. So when you walk the show floor and you're kind of, you know, if you had an unlimited spend account, what would you want to take home as your tchotchke of choice oh, or well, money is no object. Money is no object. Well, first off, we, we have that truck next. To Everybody us, loves the, the truck. SWAT truck. And I used to be in charge of the SWAT team at the Bellevue, Washington PD, and then later on at the city of Seaside, Monterey County. Uh, and, and I must say back in those days, we didn't have those type of vehicles. We had, <laughs> we bought a, 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 a used Brinks armored truck okay. uh, for $1, I remember from the Brinks company. Right. And uh, we retrofitted it and it was bulletproof, but uh, it didn't run very well. Right. <laughs> it was about 30 years old. And so nowadays, I think that would be the first, the first okay. item if I was still in charge of the SWAT team. Yeah. But that's a, different, that's a different breed right there. I love it. Yeah. Love it. This has been great. I appreciate the time. Absolutely. Uh, and thank you for your kind of support and helping us understand a little bit more about police, safety, and the importance of you know, what Opticom and MyoVision can play within the various communities that we want to serve. So thanks for your time today. Absolutely, Mike. Be good. Thanks for coming thank on you. the Intersection Podcast. And bye for now. Talk to you yes. soon.